Oui, c'est ce qu'on voit. Un an, il y a un gars. Alors, demain, tout le monde va le trouver encore ça. Is the realm the set of observable astrological objects? The guy? Yes. So far, we can see one of them. Yes. But we'll have plenty of them soon to come. We'll see the rest tonight. Also, Ether Realm is with that character that is a combination of an A and an E in its yes. name. And that means the band is pretentious. And the fact that the band is pretentious usually means that the band is pretty good. I don't actually know what this is except for the fact that it's 19 minutes long. It also means that it reminds me of Arius. Yes, they also have the A. And they're actually a very good band. Yes. Nothing like this one, I imagine, because their songs aren't 19 minutes long. Yeah. So, I've heard a bit of Etherrealm. Me too. And they're this weird mix. Sometimes I heard electronic stuff. Sometimes I heard like folk metal stuff. Sometimes I heard melodic death metal and blast beats. So, they definitely mix it up. And we've got 19 minutes of it coming. So I'm expecting this will be a lot of things. This was a suggestion from Sly, who got us into Guilty Gear, and who when he becomes determined that he wants to see a reaction, he will not stop until it's done. Mm -hmm. And since I actually have heard of this band, and I'm a prog nerd and like really long songs, I thought this might actually be worth it. So anyway, now.
talk. I assume we are both thinking about the same band. I swear I did not put this t-shirt on on purpose. <laughs> I swear to God! <laughs> This is so Winter Sun. Yes, but they're doing Winter Sun, but they're not doing it like Winter Sun. Yes, and if they, if they, to the extent to which they are doing Winter Sun, they're doing early Winter Sun a lot more than they're doing late Winter Sun. Yeah. It's a bit more blackened, especially on the vocals, a bit more raw production. But I just love the riff dynamics, which is exactly what I love for the debut album by Winter Sun. And the insane drumming that goes along yeah. with that. That's not, it's not just blast beats, but even when it's not blast beats, when it's kicks and drums, it's all so extreme. Yeah. And so well fitted to the music. And then the vocals, I don't know, I don't know if you've noticed or if you've tried to listen, but the pronunciation is absolutely impeccable. Yeah, I can hear what he's saying. Yeah, like, uh, what was, there was this lyric that said, um, cold is the wind that chills me to my bones, for example. Yeah. How can you hear that from someone growling? And he was sorry to his mother and yeah, father and sister for what he's you. become. Yeah. So that's evidence. Yeah. It's like the AE is there for a reason. They've earned the AE. Yeah. They're very, very worthy. Okay. Um, the first part was really, really blast big heavy. Mm -hmm. And I would say mostly black metal driven actually, but more okay. like a melodic death. Black metal sort of mix, okay? Uh, and really, I said Winter Sun. I don't know whether to place it more like Winter Sun or more like Children of Bodom. And I would say there's a lot of other influences coming in as well. What's very much them, though, is that production-wise and the way the sound is made, it's not so much made to be massive. Mm -hmm. Sort of the the way the music's written and the performance already is pretty damn epic. And then the sound they maybe made it a bit more humble. Yeah, I think that northern uh, nostalgic feeling, they just get that from the way they structure their melodies and they don't need huge orchestrals. Although we did also get the choir, which was really yeah. cool. So I can definitely see that as well. As for Children of Bottom, I'd say it's definitely still a lot more up the Winter Sun and Seferum alley than Children of Bottom because there isn't any hate. I mean, we have yet to see we're seven minutes into a 19 minute song. Yes. The solo... And the atmospheric parts were also absolutely dreamlike. Yes. Like just so inspired melodies and so expressive and so shimmery and glitzy and starlighty. Shimmery and glitzy and starlighty. Yes. Okay. okay. One more. One last thing to say. To Sly. All your spamming is forbid forgiven. <laughs> I was gonna say forbidden. I meant forgiven. It was forbidden. Now it's forgiven. Yes. Which means you can keep going, but we still don't promise we're gonna check out everything. We go. Yes.
actually a good place for break number two. Okay, everything since we let it go was like clean vocals, choirs, epic atmosphere, and solos. I think we still had scrams. Yeah, but very little. Mm -hmm. Like, first part was most black metal driven, and then what came here was, I would say, the orchestral bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the most, I'd say, the most relevant new elements since the last pause have been the bass. The bass part where it's just chunking with that yeah. sort of wooden raw sound, and the, the tempo messed up stuff that we have just confused as confusion. It's, it's a beautiful hum. I'm, I'm loving this so much. There's still eight minutes left of it. I'm gonna let it all go in one go. Yes. Okay. Let's hope I can stick my thoughts together. Yes. Shine as brightly with you so far 
I never knew sorrow till you asked me to follow my heart. Oh, for all the tales I told and these whispers of silver and gold, I'd throw them all away to gaze on your face once more. What? Okay, those are memes in there. Yeah, I think they wanted to meme it up at the end. That was unfreaking body. Okay, yes. I have too many thoughts to sift through efficiently, so this is gonna be one of those ranty videos. Uh, okay, so foundational aspect of the song, the drumming. That's what makes all the dynamics. You have so many sections where you have like a harmony or a lead theme or verse that just keeps going and the drums keep changing between blasting, kicking, tupa-tupa, grooving. Yeah, and that makes the dynamic foundation of the song.
Yeah, and I think when there's like transitions or cuts and stop and stuff, the riffs actually go along with it. Yeah. So then you have whatever orchestras are happening in the melody, keeping the flow on the top, and then the rhythmic components all chopping it up on the background. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, it's a great way to make it both cohesive and like fluent, and at the same time surprise, surprising and like, where the hell did that come from? Okay, I would say, yes, it is very similar to Winter Sun, uh, especially the debut album, but compared to that, it's brighter. It's not that sorrowful. It has this element of nostalgia and aching for the past to it, but it also has this uplifting feeling that you feel like you're atop a mountain staring into the sunrise. Yeah, it's more, it's more adventurous than torturous. Yes, exactly. And I would say to anybody who really loves this, absolutely do check out Atavistia. It's a, a, another very winter sunnish band and the cover to their debut album looks how this sort of music feels. Yeah. So. I would say, I would say Atavistia is Winter Sun 2.0 in this song at least, not the whole band, because I've heard a lot of influences from them, but this song is definitely Winter Sun 3.0. To me it sounds more like Winter, Winter Sun plus Enciferum over 2, 2.0. We do this instead of actually passing our computing science studies. Yes. You know, we're, we're actually really bad at what we study, but we're good at coming off as nerds on camera. We're not that bad. Yeah, we pass our courses. Most of them. We try. We try. Um, best moments in this last section since we let it go? Um, the clean vocal part, I wouldn't say was my favorite actually, but it was a great way to mix it up because until that point we had screams and we had choir-like stuff, but we didn't have so much of lead clean singing. So that was a, a great way to bring yet another element because at that point in the song, Repeating the same elements, I think, would have started to get a bit, maybe, repetitive. You um, pointed out exactly my single criticism. It got a bit repetitive. It got a bit repetitive. I think, I think, if you look at a song like Sons of Winter and Stars from Winter yeah. Sun, you remember the third part. Yeah. It's like, it pulls you out of the, of the drive and gives you, it, it takes you somewhere else. It makes a different chapter in a story with a song that's this long. You do need those changes in dynamics. Otherwise, the dynamics were very good because you have like heavy bits and atmospheric mm -hmm. bits very well balanced and chained together. But I, I feel like you really need somewhere like a longer, more overarching section that would really sort of pull you out of this drive that the song has. Like the food solo. With so many things happening. <laughs> I... It was a flute solo! I did not know that! Are you even into prog? Yes. How do you not notice the flute solo? I don't know. It was it was kind of on the background, like it wasn't really in the forefront yeah, of the I, flute. I, so I, you could have just been stuck think, into the riffs, I guess. I also think a lot of the more orchestral elements may have been sampled. I don't think the choir was sampled because no. it sounds very natural and it also sounds like it's four or five people, so maybe just the band. Yeah. It doesn't sound like it's 237, which is what sample solo sound like. It's yeah. not like 237 identical people. Well, I guess you can also just layer five people 25 times. But it didn't sound like it was layered 25 times. Not to me, at least. It doesn't mean it wasn't. And then there was the outro, which was really cool. Yeah. I think the outro has been going on for a while, but it was like... If I would work out to this song, that would be the part where I drop dead after the four-minute plank. And I'm just... Stinking on the floor in a pool of my own sweat, trying to breathe in the fresh air, but actually just breathing in my own mess. And so, that's wholesomeness to you. Okay, so because the conversation has taken that turn, it's about time it ends. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we're going to appreciate the likes and shares, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. With bell! Thank you very much for stopping by, we hope you enjoyed your stay, and we'd love to see you back at the window very soon. Cross it out.